to Worthy. In low for Frank Stams. That won't fall for him. But Jerome Lane keeps it alive. Lane off the glass. Stams inside. And he lost it out of bounds. What a first half for Jerome Lane. 14 points and 13 rebounds. Along with four block shots for Jerome Lane. Here is Craig Brown from downtown. That is six points for Craig Brown, and he is a great marksman. Darnell Worthy on the move for the Irish. Gets it low. Fred Rollin with the move. And they got him on the way up. I think it was Andrew Srochinski. Followed by number 32, Andrew Srochinski. Third personal on Srochinski. So Staker and Srochinski now have three fouls for Wintersburg. Point number seven for Fred Rollin, the 6'3 junior. He was the seventh man last year on the, the semifinal Akron team. Missing the second foul shot, but again, Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary gets another chance. Here's Cheatham. Nice drive. That is six for Darnell Cheatham. Here's Craig Brown. That's his spot right there. He won't take the shot now. Staker out top gives it to Don Brown. Baseline Staker, dead corner. Won't go. Jerome Lane with a rebound. Gets it ahead for Worthy. And Jimmy Crumb just kept the ball in play. Brilliant effort, <laughs> partner. <laughs> Boy, you're quick. That was left-handed, too. That was too. a quick left-handed move, I'll have you know. I have never seen reactions like that in all my days. Look at that. There it was. Great. You just saved me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it would come our way sooner or later in this I, tournament. It had to. 15-point lead for Akron St. Vives. In the lane it goes for Staker. Got it. That's 12 points now for Staker. They got to get the ball to Staker. Here's Worthy from the outside. Bad shot. Staker with a rebound. Ahead for Don Brown. Brown moving in. Lays it up. Got it. Eight points for Brown, and it's back 43-32. And the Wheelersburg fans are on their feet. Down to an 11-point game. They were down by 14 at the half. Here's Worthy from the outside. Missed it. And Don Brown with a rebound. He dribbles out of traffic. Look at this guy go. Off in the corner. Here's Denver Marshall with a left-hander. Missed it. And Don Brown fouls in the backcourt. What an exhibition of dribbling by Don Brown. He beat four guys. Excellent, and he uh, beat them at a, at a speed game coming down the court. There's that big guy, Jerome Lane, with his fifth block shot. Five blocks for Jerome Lane to go along with uh, 14 points and 14 rebounds. He could go sit down right now and have a heck of an afternoon. That's right. This is Cameron, who scored 10 in the first half off the bench. He gets the start here in the second half, and well-deserved. Across for Cheatham, in the lane, pops up from eight. Reminded me there of Muhammad Ali, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, because he floated. Boy, he got up there in a hurry. Again, that full court pressure, and Lane comes up with it. This is Lane pulling up from 18. He does it all. 16 points for Jerome Lane, 47-32. And Wheelersburg had cut it down to 11, and now they trail by 15 again. Again, Akron St. V's in the man-to-man -man staker baseline. I think it'll be the Todd Staker show offensively for Wheelersburg. If they want to get back in it, they got to get the ball to number 25. This is Cheatham. He loops it for Frank Stams. Stams. And a three-second violation. Another three-second violation call, and that gives the ball to Wheelersburg in the backcourt. Don Brown will be the trigger man, firing into Craig Brown. 
47-34. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary by 13. They led by 14 at the half. And it goes to Staker. Oh, got nice it. Move. Oh, what a player for Daryl Hedrick at Miami University, Mr. Staker is gonna be. Here's Ron Cameron, they leave him open. And Staker with the rebound. Staker averaged 22 points and 12 boards during the season. Here's Don Brown inside. He is fouled by Cheatham. Here, watch it again. Here comes Brown on the drive. And the foul goes against Darnell Cheatham, his second. And we told you about the surprising quickness of Don Brown, and he beat Cheatham dead to the basket that time. I think maybe he's a little bit quicker than what the Irish gave him credit for being. Here's Craig Brown on the drive. Pulls up, and he is fouled by Cheatham again. Third personal on Cheatham. They say it's before the shot. Two quick ones on Cheatham, and he now has three. Akron St. V's in a lot of foul trouble now. Here's Craig Brown. And a foul called against Fred Rollins. They're trying to calm him down. Let's take a look at it. There's where the contact was made. And the player went down, and the contact apparently was initiated by Rollins, and Stan is trying to cool him down. Third foul on Fred Rollins. So Rollins has three. Darnell Worthy with three. And Akron has some foul troubles as they go to the bench. Fred Rollins sits down. Cheatham sits down. Darnell Worthy comes back in with three fouls, and Rodney Joseph is off the bench, too. So three of the Irish have three personals, and they're all key operatives. 47-36, an 11-point lead for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary Staker with a turnaround, and Frank Stams clears everybody out. Once he gets the ball, they just sort of move away from it. <laughs> Frank Stams will play football at Notre Dame. Here's Stams with a power move. And they got him inside. Let's see who gets the personal. Here's number 34. Steve Duncan picks up his second as he tried to go one-on-one -on -one with Frank Stams. And there are not too many people who will come out on top in that type of No sorry, Bob. Stamps is a real adventure at the foul line, though. That's three points for Stamps. 48-36, a 12-point spread. And he gets the ball. So Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary up by 13. They've led by as many as 16. And Wheelersburg has tried to make a couple runs, but the closest they've gotten in the third quarter is 11 points. This is Craig Brown. Missed it, Don Brown with a rebound. Puts one up, oh! It went three quarters of the way into the cylinder and came out. And Jerome Lane took a shot to the eye in the backcourt, but no foul called. Down to 3.05 to play third quarter in this double-A championship game. Rodney Joseph dishing off. Here's Jerome Lane. That is 18 for Jerome Lane. 51-36 the score. Here's Craig Brown on the wing. Out to Don Brown. They are not related. They are teammates, though, and they have been for a number of years. Here's Staker. That is 18 for Todd Staker, eight here in the third quarter. He's been the entire offense. For Wheelersburg in quarter number three, he scored eight of their 12 points. As the tempo has picked up, 51-38. Akron St. V's by 13, Darnell Worthy. Now way across for Frank Stams. He doesn't usually shoot anything but a layup. Inside he goes. 
And you notice he had a pretty clear lane going in there. The water's parted for big Frank Stams. He's a 6'4 and about 235, fullback and linebacker. Here's Frochinski. Off for Don Brown. Craig Brown, that's his favorite spot. Give him eight points. Well, anything's possible. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary blew a 13-point lead last year to Columbus Bexley in the semifinals. And they lead now by 13. Inside Jerome Lane. And he has been just hell on wheels down low. With him around on the stem, I don't see this team blowing any 13-point leads. 55-40 the score. And Todd Staker is over to the bench. Apparently, he's hurt his right elbow. Staker has a heck of a welt. A bump on that elbow, we can see it from here. Yes, he does. That right elbow, you can see them applying ice to it now. And I did not see what happened. I didn't see whether he came down on that elbow. That thing swelled up in a, a very quick hurry. A very nasty bump raised on the elbow. For the game, Jerome Lane is 8 for 11 from the field. Staker is 8 for 18. There's Mike Lovenguth in the background, the Wheelersburg coach. He's done a great job. In his first year as a coach at Wheelersburg, he's taken them to the final game. Lovenguth was a five-year JV and Frosch coach at arch rival Portsmouth. He played for Portsmouth High. And this year he switched over to Wheelersburg and he beat his old school in overtime in the district final. I don't think he'll be too welcome at alumni <laughs> meetings. There he is, Mike Lovenguth. 55-40. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary by 15. one fifteen remaining in and the third quarter. They took Staker out, now they're going to put him back in quickly. Here's Craig Brown. They flip it on the high post. Now Brown again against the tight man-to-man, -man, pulls up and hits it. 55-42. That's 10 for Craig Brown. Wheelersburg has to come out and play the tight man-to-man -man now. This is Rodney Joseph down to 45 seconds, third quarter. Akron St. V is looking for something easy inside. Here's Jerome Lane. He's outside now. He can handle the ball with the best of them. Cross for Ron Cameron. Ten-point first half for this guy, Cameron, off the bench. And now Lane. He's the odds-on favorite for MVP in this double-A game. 18 points, 18 rebounds, five block shots. Down to 15 seconds. The ball on the floor, covered up by Cameron. Cameron baseline, feeds off for Jerome Lane. Won't fall, Rodney Joseph puts it up. Four seconds left. Here's Wheelersburg with the ball, and that's the end of the third quarter. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary ups their lead to 15 points. Make that 13 points. It is 55-42 after three quarters of play in the double-A final. And now this from the Ohio Farm Bureau. Ohio's countryside is harvesting soybeans in the crisp October air. The joy of caring for baby animals. The scent of freshly plowed earth. A sun-glistened wheat field. Farmers are people who work in the countryside. Agriculture is their business, and their business is putting food on your table. Farm Bureau is an organization that works toward a better future for farmers and for you, the consumer. Farm Bureau, a good thing growing. Fairly even uh, third quarter for uh, both teams, but at halftime with uh, the Akron St. Vincent St. Mary Irish having built a 40 to 26 lead. They've increased it now just to 55 to 42. Uh, Todd Staker had eight points in that uh, third quarter. Uh, Craig Brown had six, and uh, Staker is back in there getting ready to jump center now. Under, under
underway in quarter number four. Here's Fred Robin playing with the three fouls for Rodney Joseph. That's four for Rodney Joseph and everybody getting into the act for the Irish. Staker back in has that right elbow heavily taped. He took a bump on the elbow late in quarter number three. Don Brown across for Staker. Staker with 18, moving through the lane, puts it up, got it, and he is fouled. Staker with 20. Foul it against Darnell Worthy, his third personal foul. Staker a chance for a three-point play. And his Wheelersburg Pirates need it desperately. That makes it 57-45. Staker now with 21 points. Full court pressure. Here's Chuck Bowen man-to-man -man on Rodney Joseph. And Joseph with some fancy moves up to the foul line. Dish is low. It's picked off. And Craig Brown starts to break for the Pirates, but he lost it. And Cameron back the other way for the Irish of Akron St. V. Now Jerome Lane. Lane with some great moves. Tries to go to Joseph, and he lost it out of bounds. That was a bullet-like pass coming across there. So far for Jerome Lane, he scored 20 points on 8 of 12 from the floor, 16 rebounds, and 5 block shots. Darnell Cheatham back in the ballgame, replacing Rodney Joseph. Seven minutes remaining. Fourth quarter. And Jerome Lane has out-rebounded the Wheatersburg team. Here's Staker, let it go. The ball on the floor comes off to Cameron of Akron St. V's. He takes it into the corner, he's double teamed, and Staker will pick up foul number four. Take a look at it, right there. Staker now hamstrung with the four fouls. His team trailing by 12 at 57-45. The double-A final will have triple-A action for you later tonight at 8 o'clock. Canton McKinley against Dayton Dunbar. That should be a run-and-gun shoot-em-up affair. Here's Cheatham inside for Robin. Lost it. And the foul called on Denver Marshall. Second on Marshall. Fred Rollin to the line, and well, the Berg, as they call the Wheelersburg team, the Berg has to hope that Rollin doesn't hit the foul shots. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary shot only 41% from the line in their semifinal game. They are not a good free throw shooting team. They were not in that game. They have not been in this game today. Fred Rollin gets one of two. 13 point lead for Akron St. V. Here's Craig Brown. He loves that spot. Give him 12. It's an 11 point lead. 6.20 to play. Pressure defense now. Here's Jerome Lane inside. Foul and before the shot was taken. I believe they've tagged Craig Brown with that one. Be Craig Brown's third personal. Craig Brown has shot it up well from the outside lately. Six of 10 from the floor for him. He is a 6'1 senior and a member of the National Honor Society. It is Lane to the line. He's four for four in foul shots. And he misses the front end here. So the door opened just a crack for Wheatersburg if they can capitalize on this poor free throw shooting by the Akron team. This is Staker playing with four fouls. Gets it off to Bowen, back to Staker. Missed it, rebound. Comes off to, you guessed it, Jerome Lane. <laughs> Who else? Now the ball loose on the floor and an over and back violation. That's what we noted earlier about Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. They can get a little sloppy at right times. Right there, over and back. Darnell Cheatham. Is the man who committed the violation. An 11-point Akron lead. 
And Wheelersburg with a chance to cut it to single digits. Here is Staker. Out top for Don Brown. Back to Staker, picked up by two. They're watching him very closely. Staker dishes for Craig Brown, well within his range. There's a dangerous one-two combination in Craig Brown and Staker, both of them being able to hit from long range. This is Darnell Worthy, and he is bumped by Craig Brown, foul number four on the Wheelersburg senior, Craig Brown. Watch for it right here. Craig Brown has hit seven of 11 from the floor, but he now has four fouls, as does teammate Todd Staker. They're playing in their final high school game. There is a timeout on the floor with a score, Akron St. V's 58, Wheelersburg 49. We'll continue in just a minute. So far in this ball game, St. Vincent has gotten 14 points off the bench. The Berg, zero points. Lane, for the tournament, Jerome Lane has hit 20 out of 30 in the tournament. Darnell Worthy at the line. Gets the first. Worthy has scored three points. Averages nine on the year. And he got his average in that semifinal win over McNicholas. Both free throws for Worthy. 60-49, an 11-point lead for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. This is Craig Brown on the penetration. Gets it across for Bowen. Now Don Brown in the lane. Todd Staker, the jump hook. And Staker scores. He's fouled. Jerome Lane picks up his third personal foul right there. Well, Staker can really get off the floor, and his jumping ability surprised Jerome Lane that time. 23 for Todd Staker. Make that 24. He gets his second three-point play of the second half. And it's an eight-point game, and slowly, Wheelersburg is creeping back into this. With five minutes to play, they got plenty of time. Jerome Lane. Off to Worthy. He drives. He kicks it out to Cameron. Cameron in a little bit of trouble now, looking for someone to get rid of it to, and Darnell Worthy had to bail him out. Wheelersburg double-teaming the ball. Cameron penetrates, throws one up, and Lane is there with a follow. He is hammered by Denver Marshall. Oh, Lane really took a seat. He really hammered him pretty good. See if we watch him come down right bear hug style from behind. Denver Marshall was ejected from the semifinal game yesterday for a flagrant foul. And well, he's their uh, hatchet man. He's their Tom Luskatoff, if you remember that Boston Celtic. That's right. Sixth man or seventh man back from the 60s. He gets the job done physically. This is Lane with 21 points now. 61-52, a nine-point spread. And he misses the second one, and Staker climbs the boards, and he's fouled by Fred Rollins. That's four on Rollins. 
And they'll walk down the other way and Todd Staker will go to the line where he is so deadly. He is an 80% foul shooter, Staker is. 12 for 12 in their semifinal win over Willard. And he can cut it to seven if he cans both of these. Slowly but surely because of Akron St. V's poor foul shooting, Wheelersburg has gotten back in the game. That's right, and there's still plenty of time to go. Four minutes and 40 seconds. Staker with the front end. He is five out of six from the line in this game. 17 out of 18 from the line in the final four games. And he misses. Against the pressure, Akron St. V's up the floor. This is Cheatham. Cheatham, a great ball handler. He's fouled by Bowen. Chuck Bowen, a 6'2 senior. Chuck Bowen has just picked up his first personal foul. Stops the clock now with 4.30 remaining. Akron St. V's going for their first state double-A title. Cheatham gets the front end. So Cheatham has responded to the pressure. He scored nine, trying to make it 10. Put his team up by 10. Won't go down. And a foul on Jerome Lane as Staker will go to the line again. So we march back and forth, Jimmy, from foul line to foul line. And that's four now on Jerome Lane. He's gonna have to play carefully because I imagine Subatiki wants him in there at the very end. Right now, Lane is coming out. He's going over and sitting down on the bench. Subatiki is not gonna take any chances. He'll take him out until probably two minutes or so remain, then put him back in the ball game. It is 62-53, a nine-point lead for Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. Staker goes to the line, and he gets the front end. That is 26 points for Todd Staker. He scored 26 in the semifinals. Gets them both, 27. A seven-point lead now. Here's Cheatham, picked up man-to-man -man by Bowen. Cheatham moves inside, gets oh. it. Oh, what a move by Darnell Cheatham. He goes shake and bake coast to coast and scores it. Now from way outside, oh. it is Craig Brown. Oh, that's his spot. He was tight up against the sideline. That was really from downtown. And now the full court pressure, Don Brown with a steal. Across the Craig Brown. And he is hammered by Frank Stan. Well, Stan came down on watch list. That's 235 pounds. Coming down on your full board. took place right in front of the Wheelersburg rooting section, and they wanted a flagrant foul and an ejection there, but they didn't get it, and Brown will go to the line to shoot two. There is a timeout on the floor, and we got a good one. It is Akron St. V, 64. Wheelersburg, 57, with 3.54 to go. Your network sponsor is DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. Ted's a DeKalb Pfizer genetics dealer, and a good one, too. No, he's no super salesman. What makes him a good dealer are the same things that make him a good farmer. He knows how to get the most of this land, and how to care for it. And he knows and understands the people who live and farm around us. But you want to know the real secret to his success? I am. It wasn't too long ago that we had a 15-point ball game here, and it looked as though it might be all over. The Berg was training by 15. St. Vincent, St. Mary was up. But all of a sudden, Dame Fortune is looking the other way. Now, Wheelersburg, or yes, Wheelersburg is back to within seven points. In the fourth quarter, Wheelersburg has outscored St. Vincent 15 to nine. In the second half, Wheelersburg is 13 of 19 in field goals. 
And you remember in the first half, it was all they could do to buy a bucket. And it's Craig Brown to the foul line, his first trip of the day. He scored 16 so far, makes that 17. The Wheelersburg fans have come up from the Ohio River country and they are on their feet and standing. Now it's a five point ball game. That's the closest that Wheelersburg has been since the first quarter. This is Cheatham, picked up by Bowen, kicks it to Stams, and he's fouled by Denver Marshall. Boy, Marshall won't back down from anybody. He is a tough customer. He took Stams head to head inside. Watch it here. There he comes, number 33, Denver Marshall, right there, making contact with Stams. Number 33, Denver Marshall has just picked up his fourth personal, and he is replaced by Trochinski. So Stams will go to the line, and again, the pressure is on Akron St. V's at the foul line. And Frank Stams comes through. He is three for three from the line in this game. He's been through a lot in his athletic career, a parade high school All-American, going to Notre Dame, and second foul shot, won't go, and Slochinski climbs the boards for the rebound. Six-point lead. Here's Craig Brown, out top for Don Brown. Staker is posted up. They want to get it to him. Todd is surrounded. Out to Craig Brown. Oh, he got oh, it. Yeah. Craig Brown. Listen to this crowd. Why, right, now we've got a ball game. It's a four-point game. Darnell Worthy picked up by Bowen. Here's Worthy from 16. Missed it short. And Worthy with the follow. Great move by Darnell Worthy, following up his missed shot. Hey, put on a clinic and shot following there. Out top, Don Brown. He's got to take that shot. Now he penetrates, and he is bumped by Stams as he took it to the basket. Foul number three on Big Frank Stams. Look at that speed. Four fouls on Stams. So Lane, Stams, and Rollin all have four fouls for Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary. A six-point lead for the Irish. Don Brown cuts it to five. Don Brown is now seven for seven at the free throw line today. He was six for six in the first quarter. And that's his seventh straight. And so far, no college has come calling for Don Brown. He's got to be at least a Division II player. Second one falls through. It is a four-point game again at 67-63. Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary by four. They've led by as many as 16. Pressure in the backcourt. And Darnell Worthy just gets it over the timeline to Cheatham. Cheatham double team. Off to Worthy. Out front for Cameron. They're trying to trap the ball, and Staker tips it out of bounds. Mike Levengut, the Wheelersburg coach along the far side, up motioning his players to come out and go after the ball. Stams gives it to Worthy. Off to Stams, baseline, over a pick, he scores. Craig Stams has now scored nine points. Here is Don Brown inside, and Rollin with the rebound. And he is fouled in the backcourt by Andrew Strochinski. Strochinski added to the list, the growing list of players with four personal fouls. He has four, Denver Marshall has four, Todd Staker has four, Craig Brown has four, and at least three of the Akron players, Fred Rollins, Frank Stams, and Jerome Lane have four. It's gotten That's, real physical here in the second half. That four foul club is not an exclusive club today. Everybody belongs to it. Fred Rollin at the line. It's a seven point lead for the Irish. Make it eight, 
71-63 with 2.10 to play. Wheelersburg down by eight with the basketball. Craig Brown, they're watching him more closely now. Off to Bowen. Chuck Bowen tied up baseline, out top for Don Brown. Across, it goes for Staker. That is 29 for Staker now, a minute 50 to play. It's a six point game, Darnell Cheatham is trapped. And he gets it off for Fred Rollin. 71-65, Akron St. V leading. Inside it goes to Rollin. And he is hammered by Denver Marshall. And Rollin did the splits on the floor and really took a tumble. And the official had to come over and grab Darrell Cheatham because Cheatham was uh, starting after uh, Marshall as he walked off the floor. That is foul number five on Marshall, and he comes back and shakes hands with Fred Robin right. in a show of sportsmanship there. That's what this game is all about. It's a display of good short sportsmanship between uh, two, uh, two bunch of the kids that are out there to do their very best. And the Akron fans get on their feet because their star, Jerome Lane, has come back into the game. He's playing with four fouls. Denver Marshall sits down. He did not score, but uh, he was the enforcer on the floor for Was Winterstar. he ever? He was the answer to the intimidation supplied by Jerome Lane and Frank Stam. Tough nose ball player. 71-65, Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary by six with a minute 36 to play in regulation. Fred Rollin. After making only one of his first four from the line, Rollin has now hit four in a row. Get some bulls. 73-65, this one's slipping away from Wheelersburg. Here's Craig Brown. That is 22 for Craig Brown and most of them on the long range jump shot. Jerome Lane got in trouble in the backcourt but got it over the timeline. Here's Ron Cameron out top, a six point ball game. Off for Cheatham with a minute 10 to play. Out top for Worthy. And Worthy is surrounded. Off to Cheatham now, inside to Jerome Lane. Lane puts it up. And Srochinski got him, and that is five on Srochinski. Srochinski will foul out with a minute and two remaining. I was an error. They gave the foul to the man who helped on defense, Don Brown, and that'll be his second. Well, this Wheelersburg team has fought and clawed back into it on some great shooting by Craig Brown and Todd Staker. They still got a shot, but Jerome Lane is gonna have to miss a free throw. Lane has scored 21. He hasn't been much of a force in the fourth quarter because he's been sitting down with a foul trouble. And that was a brick. He missed them both. Here's Staker. Pulls up from 12. Yes! That is 31 for Staker. A fast break, though, for Akron St. Bees. Here's Rollins. Missed it. Staker with the rebound. It's a four-point game with 40 seconds to play. Staker down the floor. Staker now into the lane. Gets it off to Donnie Brown. Don Brown, what a move! Oh. Oh. Two-point game, and out of bounds is Fred Rollin, and Wheelersburg can tie it up. What a comeback. 24 seconds to go, 73-71. And we'll continue in just a minute.
Yeah. <laughs> Here we go with two different angles on that last scoop shot by Don Brown. Look at that. Look at that. Here's another angle. Watch him drive. Float in the air. Clutch and push. Oh, boy, what a shot. Holy cow, order me some French pastry. What a shot by Don Brown. He brought that down to his shoe tops. Wietersburg with the ball. 24 seconds left. They're down by two. They've trailed by as many as 16. This is Craig Brown. They want to send it to overtime. 17 seconds, Craig Brown dishes off for Strochinski, puts it up, missed it. Still loose, and a jump ball inside, is it? Nope, they call the foul. Against Wienersburg, I believe. On that scramble. Chuck Bowen picks up the personal in that scramble as Wienersburg tried to get the offensive board. Look at that pile up underneath. Chuck Bowen, number 24, picks up his second personal foul. The Irish have no timeouts left. Wienersburg has one and they're using it now. Wienersburg is using its last timeout right now to set up what they will do if the free throw is missed. They trail by two points, 11 seconds on the clock. At one point here in the second half, Wheelersburg trailed Akron St. Vincent St. Mary by as many as 15 points. And at that point, it looked as though it was all over. In fact, I imagine most of the people here in St. John Arena, even the most diehard Wheelersburg fans, would have said that uh, the Pirates would be hard-pressed at that point to uh, stage a comeback. Here in the fourth quarter, Wheelersburg has outscored St. Vincent 29 to 18 and have pulled it within two points at 73 71. Let's take a look at Todd Staker who scored 31 points in this ball game for Wheelersburg. He's played with a bandaged elbow with four fouls all of the fourth quarter and Todd Staker has just been brilliant. That was a line drive type of shot by uh, Staker there. Fred Rollin will go to the line. He has hit five straight free throws for the Irish with 11 seconds left. His team leading by two, and he can really wrap up a state championship if he gets two free throws. Fred Rollin. Missed it. Don Brown with the rebound, eight seconds left. Don Brown moving inside, the ball on the floor. And the foul is called against Jerome Lane. That is five on Lane. And Don Brown, the marksman from the foul line, will get a chance to tie it up here. According to my books, that is five on, yep, that's oh, just four. They called it on Cheatham, I believe, let's see. Now oh, they called it on, Cheatham, on Cheatham from behind. So that's four on Cheatham. Here is Don Brown with five seconds left. He is eight for eight from the line. And he missed it. And they tie up Jerome Lane. And they call a foul on Trochinski. That'll be his fifth. Oh, Don Brown had hit eight straight foul shots and he came up short on the ninth. Four thirty-three. She's about halfway down the last part of the seat. Now it's pretty flat with one little roll to the finish. Tuck it out. Six ninety-eight. Cindy Nelson. Let's see if that keeps her in the top fifteen, earning some more work. Heidi Price now. 
Here's a great story, Gail. Heidi's a product of this great racing program here at Waterville Valley. She's been on the national team for eight years. Tommy Corcoran just told me before she started this run that this may be her last World Cup race. Why is that? She's been plagued with knee injuries throughout her career. In 1980, she was fourth in the Olympic downhill weight class. And she just missed a medal there. And then she started with a, just a barrage of knee injuries. She spent more time in Lake Tahoe with Dr. Stedman than uh, half of his staff, I think. <laughs> well, Heidi's a great gal. She sure is, and a great credit to this four, fine skier three, in Waterville Valley. Two, That's one, go, 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 go. And all the way from 34th to end up at 15th place. Coach Joe Zabatiki was too happy with that premature I don't, celebration. I don't think he was either. Second foul shot. Lane got it. Here's Wheelersburg down the floor. This is Staker putting one up. Missed it. And the AA state championship belongs to Akron St. Vincent St. Mary. An exciting 75-71 win over the Pirates from Wheelersburg. But Wheelersburg made it oh so interesting in a tight fourth quarter. They had it within two points, and they couldn't score from the foul line. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's is the double-A champ, and there's Joe Zubatiki. He lost in the semifinal last year. He takes on the trophy this year. There's a happy bunch of kids right there, I tell you. And a happy coach. You know, he reminds me of just the way he looks. With that haircut and his exuberance, he looks like Valvano. Last year with North Carolina State won the NCAA. He has that same kind of youthful exuberance. Akron St. Vincent St. Mary is the double-A champion, and the Wheatersburg Pirates did so well to come back in this game down 16 points, and as you would imagine, they're a rather dejected crew at the moment. Your network sponsor is the Cal Pfizer Genetics. What we've got here is one heck of a good corn crop. It's always too early to start counting the cash. <laughs> you know that. Because there's a lot of things that have to go right between now and harvest. But it sure helps to know this T1100 is as good a corn as you are a corn grower. You want good yields this fall? You got to start this spring with T1100. <laughs> I am. Back at St. John Arena, let's join the awards presentations in progress. Steve Duncan. Todd Staker. Denver Marshall. Andrews Grosinski. Don Brown. Craig Brown. The manager, Tracy Miller, Eric McLaughlin, and Jim Lewis. And the head coach of Wheelersburg High School, Mr. Mike Levengood. To present the trophy will be the Associate Commissioner of the Ohio High School Athletic Association, Mr. Fred Deffler. Gentlemen, congratulations on a fine tournament and a fine season. Hold your head up. You got a lot of loyal supporters up there. I'm proud of you. You come 
forward, coach, all your team. Come on, this is a team. Let's accept this trophy on behalf of the Ohio High School Athletic Association as member school. Congratulations. Runner-up, Class AA, 1984. Akron St. V's Irish about ready to cut the nets down here at St. John Arena. They have won the AA championship 75-71 over a very game Wietersburg Pirates team. And let's go courtside now to Jimmy Crown. Coach, at one point you had a 15, 16 point lead and then you seemed to, to lose it. What happened? What caused it to turn around so quickly? Well, we were in that zone defense, and um, at number 31 and 25, they were hitting 30-foot jump shots. I didn't know what to do. Uh, that's the shots we wanted them to take, and uh, they were going in. And uh, I think we kind of got a little passive, uh, had that lead, and we were afraid to lose it. So we are just kind of, it seemed like we were just kind of 
Uh, Instead of trying to improve it, you were trying to protect right, it. Right, just protect it, right. So uh, that might have been part of the problem. We didn't go, go inside enough uh, that last quarter, or at least the last four minutes anyway. And a combination of the two made it awful close, too close for comfort. Coach, congratulations to you. Great game. Okay, thanks a lot, Jim. All right. All right, back to Andy McWilliams. 75-71, Akron, St. Vincent, St. Mary, the double-A champion, and we'll continue in just a minute. They all wind up that way. That's it in double A, Akron St. V's, the champion over Wheelersburg, triple A coming up eight o'clock tonight, Kent McKinley and Dayton Dunbar. You've been watching another Ohio High School Athletic Association championship event. Your network sponsor for this game has been DeKalb Pfizer Genetics and the more than 600 Ohio DeKalb Pfizer dealers supplying Ohio farmers with a full line of quality high-yielding seed products. This is the Ohio High School Athletic Association Television Network.